morning everyone I'm down here at the laundromat I have 19 minutes until I gotta put stuff in the dryer so I thought I'd call you up and take a walk and talk and I hope the wind is not too much or the traffic but this laundromat is on a major road beautiful sunny morning It felt really good to get that lean-to cleaned out and things organized and I I got a bag of um, some clothes and a few books together yesterday and went and dropped them off at a donation bin. This uh, building here I showed you before was in this field. This was a... Um, like a kids softball baseball training place and a couple weeks ago I found out that it's not here anymore oh it says baseball football combined training soccer fast pitch softball yeah I mean the building is here and the field is here but the business is not. Now, I don't know what happened. Someone at the laundromat whose son was coming here said that um, it had something to do with the pandemic. Some parents were have been out of work and couldn't afford to pay for the training. And someone else said that the owner bought another building across town. So I don't know. You see that? Uh, can't see what you're seeing. You can see that fake grass, that turf, whatever. That is how my neighbor Pat Dancer's yard looks like, but her, her husband's yard is real. But her husband, he is an, enamored with his yard. His um, yard keeping skills, I guess you call it. <laughs> He's real proud of his lawn, and, and it, I would be too. But his is just like that. Look how even all that is. Of course, that's all fake, but hers isn't. Here's a, well, you can tell what it is. It's a cemetery. It looks old, but it's not, um, oh, that wind. There's old parts to it, but there's been some new, residents Like it's strange to see someone on the phone walking. Let's see how these apartments are coming along. Oh, some birds just flew out of that bush. Lots of debris around here. If I was healthy and strong and had a rake and some garbage bags and gloves I'd be cleaning it up. Well, I don't know. They're not renting yet, but they're coming along. got some wonderful, spectacular, awesome, happy mail yesterday that I'll be doing the video on. See all that stuff, the wind is blowing everywhere. It makes me want to clean it, but I don't have, oh, 
Norfolk. Uh, I don't have gloves and all that. Yep, that's gone out of business. They have those two nice fields. I don't know what's gonna go in it. They got a big dumpster there, like they're taking things out. In my closet inside that I showed you, I started to clean. I got everything out of it and wiped down the inside of it. And um, been going through those clothes and those things. See the big dumpster. Over here is all different little. On the end here was a church, and um, it hadn't been here been there that long a couple years and when the pandemic came I don't know what they did but they've not come back and then you have uh, a hair salon and there's two or three at least two little Mexican um, I mean they're tiny restaurants but boy do they stay busy it don't look busy right now but come noontime um, trucks and cars will be parked over here a lot of landscapers and construction guys pile up in trucks and they'll park here and sometimes there'll be a line out there then there's a salon then there's something else and then there's a an Italian restaurant that I've been to twice and that is not real Italian food in fact I met the owners um, one time and they're Egyptian <laughs> They're real nice, and um, the owner's father-in-law actually owns another one of those restaurants in New York. Oh, I'm back in the window. Well, I'm going to go back in there and check on that laundry. Lisa, the Grammy, and Jill... Fiber Floozy and possibly someone else commented on that I call it a craft tote that I got from the thrift store and let me know what those side slides are for well that's pretty neat that it goes over a luggage thing but like Joe said I could tuck a sweater in there or something someone else told me those little pockets I could put some snacks so all good ideas, and I think it was a wonderful find, four ninety nine and thirty percent off. Maybe we'll sit in the car. Maybe that's where I should have done this video. Ah, what are we gonna look at? I just don't feel like hanging up yet. I feel like there's something else I was gonna tell you about. Let's see, the Happy Mail. My hen is still laying on her eggs, but she was out this morning eating, running around on her own. I didn't have to put her down and out. She went at some point on her own. And then when I left to come to a laundromat, she had gone back in on her eggs. A lot of people out today on, on our main road there. That road is, um, it's called Highway 78 and it takes you, you go all the way down there. It takes you into Garland, Dallas even. Then if you go the opposite way, it takes you out into the country. Levon, Nevada, Farmersville, Josephine, it's all country out there. I've been out there and I like it, but most times I go out there, I get lost. It is a beautiful day. When I leave here, I, I will not be needing to go to the grocery store to get a few things and then I'll go home and I will, um, go through some more things that was in that closet so I need to do that video someone wants an update on my closet and I also need to do happy mail video sometime today 
So one of those videos will be my Veda number eight video. And I am crocheting on my 2022 Scenic Beauty Calendar Cow Blanket. Um, I've started my Sunny the Chicken. It's a pattern I bought from Crystal the Crazy... Mm, Crystal the Yarny Crazy Cat and Chicken Lady. So I'll, I'll need to be showing that. So I have a list of things I need to show. But I'm going to go back in there now. And check on the laundry. And I will talk to you later.